Waterford and Old Saybrook met Monday night in the final of the Southeastern Connecticut Summer Basketball League. Summer League definitely helps because it gets the kids together to play ball for high school season. It gets us to prepare, have chemistry between all of us, and also go out and, have, and play other talent around other areas. CIAC rules prohibit high school coaches from instructing their players in the offseason. So with the Lancers coaching staff as spectators, several Waterford alumni took over on the bench. It's awesome, like, giving back to the community, you know? Like, I love the game of basketball. I love Waterford. Waterford's my town, you know? And it's just, just an awesome atmosphere, you know? You know, it keeps the guys playing. Um, I do it for my guys, who so I like to know where my guys are and they're playing. You know, keep them off the street. Have, you know, they get excited, you know, two nights a week they're playing here and um, Tuesday nights they play in the passing league, so it keeps them busy throughout the summer. Waterford's lack of size and depth, they only had five players dressed for Monday's game, were too much to overcome against a good old Sabre team falling 61 to 48. It's never fun to lose, you know, I'm a competitor, our team is always competing for either if it's summer league championship or if it's just a pickup game. We could be good. Um, I think we need more ball movement up top of the key. I think we'll be really good on defense. Our speed would be helping us out a lot. Our quickness, you know, we could run up and down the floor on fast breaks. We won't have any big men this year, but we'll still run on fast breaks and get the ball up the floor.